Hello, everybody. Last night, I was watching the series finale of Modern Family, and I got super excited when a math problem came up in part of the episode. Let's take a look at the clip. We got the hang of it pretty fast. Yeah, we were feeling pretty smart for a Guys, while. And... I'm on the phone with the landlord in Geneva. The apartment he has is four and a half by 11 meters. Quick, what does that work out to in square footage? Oh, meters? Yeah, no, 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 I'm still here. Bigger than, I think bigger than, well, oh, do you have this? That one's kind of ridiculous, I'll have to get back to it. Oh no, I was just following the path of this fly. Ugh, I'll do it. Okay, give me a second. All right, so as you saw in the clip, Alex Dumphy rushes in the room and asks her parents, feeling clear about the square footage of an apartment she's looking at in Geneva. And when she runs in the room, she says, quick, you know, four and a half meters by 11 meters, what's the square footage there? Um, what's really funny about this clip is that if you're familiar with the show, you'll know that Alex is the genius of the show. Um, anyway, let's take a look at how you would solve this problem. All right. So the first thing that I think we really should point out is that we're dealing with two different systems of measurement here. Uh, the first system is, of course, your metric system. And the second system is, of course, the English system. Uh, so whenever we talk about the metric system, uh, we're talking about you know stuff like meters. And when we're talking about the English system, that's where the feet are coming in. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll hear the English system referred to as the U.S. customary system of measurement or the imperial system. And when Alex walks in the room, she says, quick, if the apartment is four and a half by 11 meters, uh, what is the square footage? So the first thing that we need to be okay with or comfortable with is the fact that we're going to have to use a conversion here. Uh, and our conversion, every one meter is about the same as three and 28 hundredths feet. All right, so when we use this conversion, uh, let's, fir let's first uh, convert our meters into feet. Uh, so we can see that from this conversion that basically we're gonna take every single one of our meters and we're gonna multiply by the number 3.28 uh, to get our number of feet. So if we have 4.5 meters, and we multiply by 3.28, you know, how many feet is that going to be? And also if we take our 11 meters and multiply by 3.28, about how many feet is that going to be? So let's get out our calculator and figure that out. So we're going to take 4.5 and multiply that by 3.28. And we get 14.76. And let's do our second one. Let's take our 11 meters and multiply that by 3.28. And we're looking at about 36 and 8 hundredths of a foot. All right, so let's use this information to draw a picture. And we got 36, I believe. Thirty six point zero eight feet by fourteen point seven six feet. 
All right, so we made our conversion and now we're ready to actually calculate the square footage. So when we're talking about the square footage, we're talking about, okay, so how much space does this rectangle here take up? Um, so our apartment, uh, being that it's, you know, something by something in terms of the measurements, we know that, you know, we're looking at the area of a rectangle here. And when we calculate the area of a rectangle, we're just going to take the length and multiply that by the width. Our length, we, we came up with 36.08. Our width, we're at 14.76. All right, so let's multiply those two numbers together. Uh, 36.08 times 14.76. And we get about an area of 532.5408. Uh, now I realize this is going to be a little rounded since we rounded our length and our width. And we wanna make sure we are clear that this is definitely in square feet. And we're done. Now, before I stop though, I just wanna talk about uh, a couple things that sometimes confuse people on problems like this. Um, and the first of those is that, you know, we're working with two different dimensions here. You know, when we're looking at this 36.08 and this 14.76, you know, realize that the units there are just in feet. And if you remember uh, our conversion, was that every one meter was about 3.28 feet. Now that is of course in one dimension. And what sometimes happens to a lot of students is that they'll use this idea and try to apply it to a two-dimensional situation and it just doesn't work because uh, you're dealing with two different kinds of units here. Um, let me explain what I mean by that. So if we had just a square here that was one meter by one meter, uh, the area of that square would just be one square meter. <clears throat> Now, let's draw the same size square, but this time, instead of looking at it as a number of meters, let's look at it as a number of feet by a number of feet. So if we have 3.28 feet by 3.28 feet, uh, the area there, uh, let's clear this out, 3.28 times 3.28. Uh, we get 10.7584, so 10.7584, I'm just going to round that, and that is in square feet. So in one dimension, we know that every one meter is 3.28 feet, but if we're looking in two dimensions, uh, it's actually every one square meter, every one square meter is about 10.76 square feet. Now that we know that, that actually gives us a second way to look at solving this problem. So what we could do is we could you know, draw a room and we could first calculate the number of square meters in the room and then go to the number of square feet using this conversion that I just came up with. Uh, so our dimensions of our room were 11 meters by four and a half meters. And if we multiply 11 times four and a half, well, 11 times four is 44. Uh, 11 times a half would be 5.5. And if you put 44 and 5.5 together, you're at 49.5 square meters. Now let's use this idea, this conversion. To go from square meters to square feet, we're gonna multiply by 
So if my room is you know, 36.08 feet <clears throat> by 14.76 feet, we're just going to take our 49.5 and we're going to multiply that by 10.76 and then we'll know exactly where we're at in terms of our square meters. Uh, so let me clear out my calculator here. 49.5 times 10.76. And notice we're right back to the number uh, that we had before. Uh, it's a little off just because of rounding. Uh, but 532.62 uh, square feet, the number we had before, uh, if you notice, was 532.54. So we know we're real close to that, you know, 532, 533 uh, square feet. Now, another thing I want to talk about here real quick is, uh, you know, how big exactly is a meter? Um, Sometimes you hear people talk about a meter stick or a yard stick. Uh, if you're not really sure how large a meter is, a meter is about 39.4 inches. Uh, a yard, of course, would be three feet or 36 inches. So a meter is 3.4 inches larger uh, than a yard, just so you have some sense of you know, what you're dealing with. Uh, and then if you're talking about a square meter, uh, you, of course, want to take, you know, your meter stick, once again, 39.4 inches, and kind of make a box that is 39.4 by 39.4 inches. And if you imagine how, how large that box is, uh, that will tell you exactly how large a square meter is. So I looked up some statistics of how large a typical apartment is. And if you read through this with me, the average size of new apartments in the U.S. in 2018 is 941 square feet. Now, remember in our problem that we just solved a second ago, we had an apartment of about 532, 533 square feet. So the average apartment in the U.S. is significantly larger. Uh, it says 5% smaller than 10 years ago. Uh, so they are, although the apartments in the U.S. are a little bit smaller than a year ago, they're still much bigger than this apartment uh, that we worked with. Studio apartments are shrinking the most by more than 10%. Meanwhile, overall rents have increased by 28% over the same period of time. When you're talking about studio apartments, you're talking about just basic little one-room apartments. Uh, the average size of apartments, regardless of year, year built, is 882 square feet, with the largest apartments in the southeast boasting 975 square feet of living space, and the smallest in California measuring 837 square feet. Uh, Seattle has the tiniest apartments in the country with the average size of 711 square feet. So even the uh, tiniest apartments in our country, um, still larger than this one. But another interesting statistic is that I looked at typical apartment sizes in Europe and a one room apartment is typically 25 to 35 square meters. Uh, remember that our apartment was 49.5 square meters. Two room apartment, 35 to 50 square meters. And a three room is 45 to 65 square meters. So the apartment that Alex is looking at, you know, definitely falls within this range. So it appears like the writers of the show did a good job. They did their research and they come up, they came up with some pretty uh, realistic sizes there. Anyway, uh, thank you uh, very much for listening. Hope you learned something. Uh, take care, and I hope to see you soon.